91.7 FM, your everything on PlayStation right here in the Garden City of Port Harcourt. And we hope you've been having a great time today. Today is Saturday, the number 21st day in the month of November 2020. As usual, every Saturday, 6.30, you should be hearing the voices of great men in the studio. These men are from the 7th Apostolic Revival Mission right here in Port Harcourt. Yes, they have to be in Port Harcourt, right? For them to be here they can be anywhere eh? or anyways good evening to you and welcome good evening pastor good evening how are you very well hi <laughs> garden shady oh cool. <laughs> and good evening i don't even want to talk to you but i have to good evening to you um barrister good evening my dear how oh you? oh evening, <laughs> all right good evening to you like i said the voices of um the seventh apostolic revival mission they are here but um before we go on um if you want to see the last of the previous editions of the talk from the seventh apostolic revival mission you can go to their youtube channel at the last alternative at the last alternative on youtube one and you word. see that yes just one word you don't have to space any at the last alternative you, you see the previous edition. yes you drop your questions your comments whatever you're not clear about you drop it there and they will answer you okay so last week we were talking about um, deliverance and um because of time we said we're going to move it over to today and today we are here again did i say my name okay i'm kate again okay, okay. we are here again deliverance so you know people people from last week will be here again and more people will be here too because i'm sure one person must have told one person and one person has said something to yes. other people so deliverance you have a question or should i say a question you're supposed to answer today yeah. mm -hmm. so we'll go first from that one okay um last week um one of our brothers called and asked the question remember we said that a sinner cannot pray yes we said that because um we say the sinner cannot pray because Yahweh doesn't hear the sinner. Okay. We say the sinner cannot pray because Yahweh cannot hear the sinner. That's the essence of what we said. Okay. And a brother called and cited um, Luke chapter 18 from verse 9, 10, 11, and 12 that the sinner prayed. So we'll look at that. We'll compare it with the book of John chapter 9, verse 30, so that we can clear the air. Okay. But we mean the sinner cannot pray. We mean that Yahweh cannot hear him. Because he's a sinner, because she's a sinner, so mm. Yahweh can. It's just hear. like I say that if I say that a Kate organ cannot access my car, okay, that doesn't mean that she cannot go to go and open. Now the key is here, and the remote control is locked. Okay. But she can go there and try to open, try to want to open the door, but the car will not answer her because I have the key. So when you say the sinner cannot pray, it's because we mean that Yahweh cannot hear. Let's, let's look at that scripture. Let's look at the book of Luke chapter eighteen that he cited. He says, um, "And he spake this parable unto." Unto certain which trusted in themselves. He spoke this parable unto certain people that trusted in themselves, that they were righteous and despised others. That's the essence of the parable. Verse 10. Two men went up in the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The, the Pharisee stood and prayed thus with myself, Elohim, I thank thee that. I am not as the other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even the publishers. It's 12. I fast twice in a week. I give tithe of all these I possess. 13. And the publisher, standing afar off, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, Elohim, be merciful unto me. Verse 14 is the shocker. 14 says, I tell you, the man, this man, this man went down to the house justified rather than the other for everyone that exalted himself shall be abased and everyone that be shall humble so where the year we hear here you are sure i was making a comparison i said one was exalted one was proud one was humble now both of them one will go home he's not saying here we say one will go home justified and one will go home abased that's the position now let's look at the book of john chapter 10 which we read now in john chapter, in chapter 9 it was a man that was born blind and yet the disciples asked him, what has this man done that he will be born blind? And Yahushua said he must walk the walk of the Father. And he spat on the floor and put on his eye, turned to go and wash in the pool of Shiloh. And he went there to wash Shiloh. So the man's eyes was open. And in verse, um, in verse 29, he said, Then we know that Elohim spoke unto on Moses, as for this fellow, we know him not. When he comes, verse 30, the man answered and said unto them, 
Why wearing it? Is a, the man answered and said unto them, Why hearing is a marvelous thing that ye know not for where he is, and yet he had opened my eyes. Verse 31. Now we know that Elohim heareth not sinners. The sinner will pray, but Elohim will not hear him. Okay. Because it's a hearing that is a game. You can you can make your request and I will not accept that you're not you're wasting your energy and time. Okay. You can make your request from that in next year, and I'm not hearing you. So Elohim hearing not sinners. That's a, the sinner cannot pray. So now going back to the sinner's prayer. Okay, so one minute. Okay. Going back to the sinner's prayer. Because Elohim does not hear the sinner. So the sinner's prayer is a nullity. It's that you can't put some in law. We say, oh God, name of that God not the best. You can give what you don't have. You cannot put nothing on something and expect it to stand. You can't put something on nothing and stand. So the sinner cannot pray. It means that Elohim cannot hear him. That was what we say we'll wrap up this before we continue to this um, teaching. Okay, I don't want us to waste uh, much time. No, okay, let me have questions. But, uh, this year. Yes, um, read um, your with your Bible mm, here, First yes. John chapter 1, verse 9. Okay, First John First chapter John. 1, verse 9. And um, explain that. Uh, let's have um, the explanation, the comparison, and let's um, get clarification on it. Okay. First John chapter one. Verse nine. Yes. No. We, we read it from from, the, from, from verse one. So I have understand it. Now, who is John speaking to here? That which we he said that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. For the for the life was manifest and have seen it, and bear witness and shown unto you the everlasting life which was with the Father and now manifest unto us, verse 3, that which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you, that you also may have fellowship with us, and truly our fellowship is with the Father, and with his Son, Yahushua the Messiah, verse 4, and these things write we unto you, that your joy be full. This, this then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that Elohim is light, and in him no darkness at all, verse 6. If we say we have we have fellowship with him, we walk in darkness, we lie, and do not and know not the truth, the same. But if we walk in light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. I like this. And the blood of Yeshua, the Messiah, his son, cleanses us from all sin. That's it. If we confess our sin, we, we if we confess our sin, we deceive if we if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have no sin, we make him a liar and the truth is not in us. Now, the position here, the difference between the sinner that sinned because of Adam's sin and a new man that is the Messiah that falls into this trials and into this division that is called sin. Okay, so now we're looking learning? at the, the, the Adam, the this, sin from the Adam, and the sin from you that I'm coming. This you is are in-house. falling and falling and this, you're asking. This, 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 this first John is talking to this in-house, okay. to the brethren in Israel, the Jewish brothers. Okay. Now, there's, what condemns you is the Adamic sin so, According to the book of Romans, chapter chapter six, five verse seventeen, okay. that in, in Adam all died. We became a sinner because Adam sinned. Okay. So all of us, even the newborn child, as he is born, he's born from sin, and is born into sin, mm-hmm. because his father, his ancestors, Adam has sinned, and he has been condemned. And there's three things he got: he got condemnation, he got sin, he got death. So in the second man, the Messiah. There are three things you also get. In the place of death, that second man gave him life if you accept the gospel of grace. In the place of condemnation, in the place of um, sin, he gave him righteousness. And the place of condemnation, he gave him justification. So three for three. So here, the first John is talking about the brethren. That he said, if we, because the sin, we have to understand, die to sin and dead in sin. There are two different things we talked about it. You missed us. We are not, we are not here. We did that. A man that is dead in sin and a man that is dead to sin. So I'll have to take a bite on that so we can 
Okay. Is, is she here? Based on what uh, Barista is saying, another dimension there. Okay. Two things. Mm -hmm. The first one, verse 8. If I say I have no sin, mm -hmm. that it means if I'm way. saying that that sin of Adam, I have not inherited it, mm -hmm. the Father automatically put it on me. It is not a, a matter of choice. Mm -hmm. You had it, everyone born in Adam inherited mm -hmm. that nature. Mm -hmm. S I N. S I N. Sin. Sin. Mm -hmm. With capital S. And if I say I have not sinned because the outworking of that sin nature is the sins I commit. Simple. If you say you have no sin, you deceive yourself and the truth is not in you. And if you say I have not sinned because I have made the father a liar because he said that I inherited the sin of Adam for what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh. He had to send his son in the likeness of sinful flesh. Mm -hmm. And for sin, and for sin, that nature, condemn sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the Father must be fulfilled, give to us. Just what he said. Instead of the sin, he gave us righteousness. Instead of death, eternal life. Instead of condemnation, justification. That's the explanation one. Don't say, are you doubting that you don't have sin? You, you have not inherited any sin from Adam? If you look at Romans chapter 7, it says very clearly, I had not known sin, except the Lord said, thou shalt not what? Covet. Mm -hmm. And even when I wanted to do good, I am not able to do it because of what? Mm -hmm. I'm noticing there is another law working in me. Who shall deliver me? Yeah. Who shall deliver me from this? Sin? What is this so what is? I don't. Know. So that is the clarification on um, a sinner cannot be heard. No, no, that is it is a total different. <laughs> you said you just quoted something that we should narrate on it. Yes, because uh, we, have, because we have discussed of, we have discussed the sinner's position that yes. cannot be heard from yes. the parable. Yes, yeah, this, is and this is a different. You ask a different one. question. You ask a different question. Adamic, Adamic, nature. The why I asked that question Good, eh? is because. Um, if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to have mercy upon you. On, upon you. That's why I asked that question now. Like, um, if you're not a sinner, how do you now confess your sins? How will he hear you and be faithful and just to have mercy on you? you see, okay. That's why I asked that. Okay, okay, that. then. You see, uh, in dispensation of grace, okay, because the confession is something that you derive from Romans chapter 10. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay? Mm -hmm. But in our own salvation, we are not to confess First anything. anything. There's no confession. Mm -hmm. The our own scripture is in Ephesians chapter one, 2, one from twelve to fourteen. That's the process of salvation. When okay, we read it that that we should give to the praise of Yahweh's glory, who first trusted in the Messiah. In the Messiah we have trusted after we heard. The word of truth, the gospel of our salvation. The first thing is here. Faith okay. comes by hearing, hearing the, the word. word. So, which word are you hearing? You, when you heard the gospel of grace, mm -hmm. the gospel of truth, the gospel of salvation, how that the Messiah died for our sins, he was buried and he rose again the third day. In whom also, after that, we believed, we are given the sale of the Holy Spirit as a down payment of righteousness. Just okay. a small question. If, as you lay emphasis on the confession, what happens to a deaf, a dumb man that cannot talk? Are we trying to say Yahweh did not contemplate salvation for him? Let me have an answer to that. A dumb man that, cannot, man that talk. cannot talk. How does he get, and they say, how does he appropriate salvation? He speaks in his mind. <laughs> and the Yahweh who knows he everything will hear him. You don't have to uh, say it out. That's why you don't have to always say your, your thoughts out. He will say it in his mind, and the yeah. Yahweh who yeah. owns yeah. him yeah. will yeah. know what he is yeah. actually yeah. saying in him. It's your dimension. No, it's 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 not a it's not a different dimension. Yeah. Okay. I why are you explaining the man that is dumb? Yeah. Okay. Explaining him how because you said you are talking about confession, isn't yes, it? yes, that we must confess. But now, this man, 
cannot speak. Yes. And you that, say now, you're saying it. Why can't you believe it in your own heart without confessing it? That is still a confession. How? I don't, that's why I said you don't always have to say something for the all knowing Yahweh to hear you. You have to, it's, he knows already your okay, heart. Okay, you, you see the issue here. Okay. You must be very, 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 very careful. Okay. This conversation About... plays a very a big role here. Okay. You see, the nation Israel need to accept their Messiah. Right. They need to confess him. Mm. Do you understand that? Just kidding. Okay. When John came to the scene, John the Baptist, mm. the elders of Israel, the Pharisees, mm. they sent their men to go to John, find out, are you the, the Messiah? Messiah? Are you the prophet? Are you the one that we expected? What did John did? He confessed that I'm not him. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Confession plays a role mm -hmm. in the salvation of Israel. Very, very important. We are not Israel. Mm -hmm. Our salvation differs mm -hmm. from theirs. Mm -hmm. That is what we call uh, uh, offer and acceptance, and, and, acceptance mm -hmm. and the the means and the offer of salvation and the terms or the condition of salvation it differs mm -hmm. it differs what during the time of John what they needed to do to be given righteousness differs from what Christ preached to his people for them to be given righteousness. Yeah. He said he came to his own and his own, and his own received him not. As many as received him gave them power to be called the children. Yeah. Yes. Did you see him? But today, a lot of you say, I received Jesus. We say you cannot receive him. You don't have capacity. You, don't have, you, you didn't even see him to receive him. Yes. Okay? Because you cannot receive him. He is the one that received us. Yes. He is the one that accepts us. And mm -hmm. we read scriptures to that. Sure that. Salvation differs. But though that it is the same Yahushua that says, let me tell you something. Okay. Kate. Yes. Let me tell you. If Yahweh asks you to give him this pay, this is very, very important. Mm -hmm. He, If you bring two or three, he will not accept it. What he wants from me is one. He, mm -hmm. he requested for one. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So now you take him by giving him three. Mm -hmm. That that will change anything or make you a better person in his presence. Sorry. It's a lie. 